In this video, we're going to focus on Tailwind CSS diff, or we're going to put a diff in the center. We center the diff, and we're going to convert that diff in the center into a nice card design. So let's start and explore this. So to do this, what we need to do is here, we create a diff, and I'll just give this a, uh, well, we can give an ID, it doesn't matter so much. But basically here, in this diff, this will be the flex box, basically. And then in here, we'll create another div, and this div will have an ID name of card. So I'm going to give it a card ID name, ABC. If I save this right now, you can see here, that's it. All right, but let's start to give it a class here, and then after, we're going to work on designing this specifically. So what we're going to do here is, well, first of all, we're going to give this a background, and I'm just going to give this a class, which is a background of black, so BG black. And if I save this now, you will see now it starts to work, all right? But you can see our text is also black, so it overlaps itself. Next one I want to do here, I want to say here, uh, with screen, to make a maximum screen of the width, and also the height screen for maximum height of the screen. So if I refresh this, now our entire screen, or basically the entire browser, is dark. So now what we can do is the following. We want to put in here a flex, because we want to make it a flex box, so it, so then it becomes more flexible and what we want to do now is we want to justify center justify center we'll put the item in the center to make sure that this is visible i will just say here in the class bg um, white let's save that and refresh all right as you can see now it's in the center and then what we can do here is we want to also say a vertical center so what we need to do here is we need to push this basically in the center the center of the center so how to do that we say here items and then here we put in center if i save that refresh all right so there we are so now we have everything in the center it's time to work on our cards and let's give our card a nice uh, border so we can say round it first and we can say here border and then I'll just have to check what's the border color. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select here. Let me say your border color. And most likely it will be border dash color green or etc. etc. But just to be sure, select this one here. Once you click on border color, it starts to load. There you are. So you can see here all these colors. All right. So it's very straightforward. So what I'm going to do here is let's say here border. Let me say border. You can make this green. That means 400. Once we save that, Refresh, there you are. Now what I want to do is I want to increase the size and the padding and the, uh, the the width of the pixels. So first of all, I want to give it a padding. This is a padding 4. We save that. That looks slightly better. And if I look at the rounded, let's make this a card shape. So we can say extra large. So we have more nice rounded edges. All right, as you can see, that looks better. So now what I want to do here is I want to set up a width. We can do the width with many options here in Tailwind. Let's say your width, uh, width, and let's see what is the options that we have currently. You can see all of these, which is fine, or we can just set up here a specific one. And in this case, I would say a 25% width could be more than sufficient for our item here. So it's a tiny card, 25% width. There you are, that looks quite nice, very suitable. All right, so now we have this. The next thing that we need to do here is basically consider what are we going to put in here. So we have this div basically, and in here we can put in here a title, then we put maybe a horizontal line, and then underneath we can put something specific, some extra information and a button, which is quite common, so let's do that. So we say here h1, we can do that one for now. Closing. And here we could uh, just some basic information, also just called basic information. Now, right, once we did that, we're going to give it a horizontal line. And we can even give this a class afterwards. Here, we're going to put in a paragraph. And in this paragraph, we also have a button. And this is not really a button, but an href link, which I'll just give it a hashtag. And here, what we can say here, uh, learn more. That will be this probably most Clickable one. All right. So we have all of this. This is a button that you can see here. Well, when you click on it, you see the hashtag being adjusted. But that's it here. And we can have a text here. So 
I just type in this is let's type in some basic text so this is basic information about a product all right that looks nice I'll copy this and just put in three more two more times so we have a total of three lines all right so let's start to work with this so the first thing that we can do here just give it a class to say here uh, we can do padding we can do padding or I would not recommend left and right because we already have the padding basically in this card item so what I will say here padding will be top and bottom so it's a padding tree if I save that here you can see here well I don't like this I think padding bottom tree is more than sufficient this here or we could even do it in the class so I'm going to give it in the class or sorry in the HR the horizontal line probably here will be padding that will be sufficient this one can be better a bold font so we say your font bold save that all right that looks slightly better uh, although the padding here at the bottom I guess it doesn't work oh because of this we need to have this sorry I see here padding Y but padding Y doesn't respond here surprisingly so we say you padding bottom and then I'm going to add up here as well padding bottom and what I want to do more well, let's save that one here all right that looks better you can put this text in the center the text center we save that this one here this could be this and what we could do here is let's let's explore a bit of the font colors so we say here font color or specific colors I guess it's, it should be text color what we can do uh, let's see if we can just specify a matching color that is with the green here that we have well, what we can do is just to test that. We just say here this, and then I'll say text green 400. If I do this, all right, oh, that works surprisingly well. So that's quite nice. Now what I would like to do is I would like to have this borderline here as well, matching with the text. Although I do have a feeling that this is not that appealing. Let's leave that one like that. Now I'll say here border green dash 400, matching color. All right, so this looks slightly better. I like this although I want this one in a bigger font size so let's let's look here for font size I realize that the font color is not necessary once we figured out how to do it but the font size is an important one text extra small large I guess this is a quite straightforward item uh, we could do this text extra large and not here but here above all right save that refresh that looks better here what we can do is we have two things we're going to put in the text here and then after we're going to make this button also in similar type of color design at least the background will be this nice green or we could give it a dark color with one or the other well what we can do here is first let's give it a class and in this class here this is a we want to make it a slightly button style so what we can do here is a width uh with full we, we try that on first and then we say here background green 400 let's see how that works if it if that would be consistent or nicely yeah that would be decent then i will say here padding and padding we will just give everywhere three pixels all right and if i'm not mistaken it was uh, with full and probably the reason why it doesn't respond here because this is an inline i need to give this a block so i'm going to say block as a item there you are so now it starts to work now you can have this border radius text center as you can see here so we put in the center then border radius and we can here do do the same rounded borders of extra large put it in there save that refresh there you are i would like to have some padding at the bottom of this paragraph here but we could give this maybe some gray text as well so we would say here a slightly lighter text in the class here so first of all padding bottom tree and then we say here text we can do gray remember gray here is used in British version so you type in gray with the letter A for alpha instead of letter E for echo all right there we are make it slightly gray uh, let's give this a slightly more darker gray that's slightly better all right font here this should have a nicer color as well let's give this a text uh, text white save that all right so there we have it so then what we want to do is here maybe give it a hoover effect so the moment we hoover what do we want to do if we hoover here 
we would like to make this button slightly darker so we're going to give this here a background color and it's just quite nice we still win put it here for 500 save that refresh now as you can see we get this nice darker element on it or darker color on top of it which is beautiful and this gives it a quite nice way and this is the way how you make a very easy straightforward card and we could even do more adding an image in here etc etc but with this you make a straightforward card in Tailwind. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in Chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js and finally of course make sure you subscribe to my channel.